Welcome to EWTN's Religious Catalog. EWTN's founders, our beloved Mother Angelica, first brought this program into the homes of EWTN viewers in 1996. Since then, Religious Catalog has offered thousands of Catholic products, including good books, beautiful religious art, rosaries and medals, statues of Our Lord, Our Lady, the saints, and crucifixes, all designed to enrich our spiritual lives. Religious Catalog is also your source for many of the favorite programs seen here on EWTN, including exclusive series, specials, live shows, and feature films. I hope you have a blessed reminder of the love of Jesus in your house and in your heart. And now, here's Mother Angelica. Well, hi there, and welcome to our Religious Catalog Show. And don't forget, this is a service, so don't let it replace a donation to EWTN. First, this week we celebrate the feast of three of my favorite saints, St. Ignatius of Loyola, St. Alphonsus Liguori, and St. John Vianney. All were great men of the church. All were priests. And the spiritual exercises of St. Ignatius uh, are very, not only popular, but necessary, I think. These are the two videos that we made here. Father uh, Goronsky presents a 30-day retreat. You can make this at home. And a series of 13 half-hour retreat talks. And it's very important, I think, that we understand, and here's the one, and here's the other one, Ignatius Loyola is the patron of all retreats in the church, drawing from his own experiences in prayer, silent prayer. He's a great mystic of the 16th century Spain. And he wrote a handbook for retreats called Spiritual Exercises. These exercises for the soul I really intended for those who want to follow Jesus and, and to attack our self-will and our excessive attachment to ourselves, to our own opinions, our own ideas, to everything, and to discern. So I, I, this is a great opportunity. We've always wanted to give you something that you can make a beautiful retreat at home. And this is what we're talking about. Now, this book has within it the 33 doctors of the church. And there's a little piece of paper here. And I'm supposed to look at it. And guess what it's got? Alphonsus Liguori. And here he is. That man had a lot of suffering. All of you that have arthritis, you ought to read about him. Why? Mm, he had it very, very bad. And he was a, had a great mind, was a great saint, a brilliant lawyer at one time before he became a priest. He founded the Redemptorist Order. And I, I think here he had great love for Our Lady, and he pushed and pushed for Our Lady's dogma the Mediatrix of all grace. He was very practical. They like used to call him the Prince of Moralists. But beside him, there are 33 chapters here of some of the greatest minds in the church. We call them doctors. And we have two new ones, you know, Teresa of Avila and the Little Flower, and they're thinking of making Faustina, St. Faustina, a doctor of the church. Here are all the doctors of the church, all 33. And each story is, a, is completely different. It shows each doctor as an individual and a teacher filled, filled with wonderful stories and the book describes and gives all kinds of ideas and selections and there's everybody here, St. John Chrysostom, Alphonsus Liguori, Catherine of Siena, Thomas Aquinas, 
Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Now, you know, there have been times in the church when the Eucharist was not popular. Well, this time we have the Eucharist and confession not popular among the people. And if there is a time when you and I and everybody else should go to confession, often it's today. Hmm. Did you know Alphonsus the Great is a patron saint of confessors and theologians? And this little book, How to Make a Good Confession, I'll make a bet. If you haven't been to confession for years, one of the reasons is you don't know how to go. You don't know how to go. This is written by John Cain. And our Lord, you know, this is not something the, the church cooked up. Our Lord instituted the sacrament of penance for the forgiveness of sins and for our reconciliation with God. Yeah. But a good confession brings us more than just forgiveness. That's enough, but it, it has a powerful tool, great grace you get to overcome your sins. That's what you miss when you don't go to confession. You get weaker and weaker and weaker. And the first thing you know, you're not gone at all. What happens if you were killed in an automobile accident and had a sudden death? Oh boy. What would you do? You can't go to confession. So these are the kind of questions that are in this little book. Now, a lot of people think, why do I have to go to confession all the time? Like every week, every month, what is it? You know, I don't think you can live a deeply spiritual life or be sincere about holiness if you don't go to confession. This is uh, written by Benedict Bauer, and it explains to you, to me, the place of confession in your spiritual life. Say, for example, you are not committing any very serious sins, you know, mortal sins. And, and the worst that happens to you is uh, venial sins and maybe just imperfections. Maybe you're well on your way to becoming holy. Well, you say, why do you need to go to confession? Frequently, that's what it says. Why? Because it does something for your soul. Remember what we said a minute ago. You get strength, you get holiness, and you get more of God. It's a source of grace. And what is grace? A participation, St. Peter says, in the very nature of God. Get a little bit more of God in you, and then you can act like God. It's a great, great help in your spiritual life. If you're at that point, this is the book you need. This is the book you need. You know, confession is not an outmoded practice. It's necessary for you to have your sins forgiven, no matter how serious or not serious. And even if you have a lot of imperfections, you need to get rid of them frequently. So now, I, I think we have a, a book on confession for everybody. Well, that's going to come on and give you uh, a recap of everything I've spoken about on this program. Thanks, Mother. But first, here's Barbara with some new items for our consideration. St. Catherine of Siena said, if you are what you should be, you will set the whole world on fire. We should take that message to heart and become great witnesses to our holy faith. First today, we are going to look at a few wonderful books. Here is Saints and Other Powerful Men in the Church by Bob and Penny Lord. They have tracked the lives of 12 men who have said yes to Jesus and dedicated their lives to Him. The book includes stories of Saint Anthony, 
St. Francis, St. Paul, St. Augustine, St. John Vianney, St. John of the Cross, St. John Bosco, St. Pio of Pietrocina, Archbishop Fulton Sheen, St. Peregrine, and St. Maximilian Kolbe. Likewise, we have saints and other powerful women in the church. In this edition, Bob and Penny Lord have updated the chapter on Mother Angelica and have added a chapter on St. Catherine Drexel. They also include the stories of St. Teresa of Avila, St. Therese of Lisieux, St. Rita of Cascia, St. Bernadette, Blessed Mother Teresa, St. Catherine of Siena, St. Claire of Assisi, St. Montefalco, and Sister Brige McKenna. And next we have several books by a wonderful EWTN host, Johnette Bankovic. First is Full of Grace, Women and the Abundant Life. God has entrusted every woman with an important task to bring spiritual life to the world around her, following the example of the Blessed Mother. Discover five essential elements that will help you deepen your relationship with God. And here is the accompanying study guide. This foundational study series is an eight-week journey of discovery and transformation to explore the great call and gift of femininity. Through this journey, you will meet some of the great women saints and learn from the Holy Mother Church. We also have Grace-Filled Moments. Johnette Bankovic offers eloquent insights to inspire women of all ages to seek a deeper sense of spirituality through development of their unique feminine soul. This book uses scripture, quotes from great men and women, as well as reflections and heartfelt prayers to motivate modern women to rise above the mundane and achieve holiness in daily life. And next we have Experience Grace in Abundance by Johnette Bankovic. God has a plan for you in spite of the mistakes you have made. Step by step, this book shows how to find and share the inheritance that we have from God and how to live this spiritual heritage in today's busy world. Bankovic offers solid Catholic doctrine and practical suggestions to help you live the life that God has always planned for you. And here is Living Life Abundantly. Stories of People Who Have Encountered God by Johnette Bankovic. In these stories, you will meet ordinary men and women made extraordinary by God's life active within them. They demonstrate what the abundant life in Jesus Christ is all about. We also have the spiritual exercises of St. Ignatius. This great classic has been changing lives for over 400 years. Designed to make a person re-examine the direction of his or her life, this book will help readers to direct life away from hell and toward heaven. This book is sure to inspire you to make a new beginning. And next we have A Closer Walk with Christ. You will encounter Jesus in the tradition of St. Ignatius of Loyola in this simplified presentation of his spiritual exercises by Father Raymond Goronsky. Enter into a deeper relationship with God, first through the text and then by following the suggested meditations. And here is The Glories of Mary. This is a highly readable edition of the classic book about Mary. St. Alphonsus' masterpiece about the privileges and intercessory power of Mary is now available to today's Catholics in a form that is a joy for them to read. This book features large print and illustrations. Sister Lucia, one of the Fatima visionaries, once said, there is no problem, I tell you, no matter how difficult it is, that we cannot resolve by the prayer of the Holy Rosary. Here is Praying the Rosary with St. Alphonsus Liguri. This two CD set features meditations by St. Alphonsus Maria Liguri and also original music and lyrics. Internationally renowned musicians perform the words and hymns on this CD. 
And here is the book, Preparation for Death. St. Alphonsus Liguori teaches that the proper attitude toward death is one of readiness, of always having one's debts cleared. He cautions against letting even one day pass without reflecting on the certainty of death, the shortness of time, and the length of eternity. Next is visits to the Blessed Sacrament and the Blessed Virgin Mary. St. Alphonsus Liguri wrote this book to help us grow in the knowledge and love of God and in appreciation for what He has done for us by giving us the Blessed Sacrament. For each day of the month, this highly famous Catholic prayer book includes a brief meditation and fervent prayer of love toward Jesus and our Blessed Mother. We also have How to Converse with God by St. Alphonsus Liguri. This is a brief, easy, but truly important little book that everyone should read and put into practice in order to grow in grace and save his soul. Next, we have St. Dominic's Family by Sister Mary Jean Dorsey. This book includes more than 300 biographies of the most famous people of the Dominican order, priests, nuns, and third order members arranged century by century. These are great stories of heroes and heroines of Christ, stories of miracles, visions, and martyrdoms. And here is a St. Dominic gift set. This set includes a three and a half inch resin figure of St. Dominic with a matching holy card. The gift box includes the history of this saint and a prayer for his intercession. Next is Edith Stein and Companions. St. Teresa Benedicta of the Cross is also known as Edith Stein. During World War II, she was captured along with 112 others by the Nazis in Holland. Many of these holy men and women were executed in concentration camps for their faith. Father Paul Hammonds tells their stories in this collection of extensively researched biographies. Likewise, we have Edith Stein, Life of a Philosopher and Carmelite by Sister Teresa Renata Poselt, the novice director and then mother prioress of the Cologne Carmel when Edith Stein lived there. This is Poselt's tribute to Saint Edith Stein, a loving recollection of a holy woman. It is also the first ever biography published about this great woman of the 20th century. And here we have the Ocean of Mercy DVD. This program, filmed in 20 cities across Poland and the United States, looks into the lives of St. Faustina, St. Maximilian Kolbe, and Pope John Paul II, the modern day Apostles of Mercy. Through film, rare photographs and interviews, the story documents their heroic struggles and heralds the message of divine mercy to all mankind. The running time is one hour. Next is Maximilian, Saint of Auschwitz DVD. Pope John Paul II called Saint Maximilian Kolbe the saint of our difficult century. The gripping story of Saint Maximilian is brought to life by actor Leonardo de Filippis, who has become well known for his dramas on the gospel and the lives of the saints. Beautifully directed for the screen, this movie features a breathtaking musical score. The drama of this saint's heroism and faith touches the heart of the viewer in a mysterious and profound way. The running time is 76 minutes. Likewise, we have Forget Not Love, The Passion of Maximilian Kolbe. Andre Frassard tells the heroic story of St. Maximilian Kolbe, a modern apostle of Catholic evangelization and Marian spirituality, and also a martyr of charity. Frassard blends literary skill with scholarship and emotional impact to recount one of the greatest lives of the 20th century. And finally, we have Kolbe, 
Saint of the Immaculata, edited by Brother Francis M. Calvledge. Saint Maximilian Kolbe is among the great saints who has understood, venerated, and sung the mysteries of Mary. His love for Mary Immaculate was indeed the center of his spiritual life, the fruitful, inspiring principle of his apostolic activity. This book explains the controversial misrepresentation of Kolba as anti-Semitic, his insights and strong stand against Freemasonry, and his unique, powerful Marian teachings that have made him the prophet of the Immaculata. Now, just as a reminder, our EWTN family celebration is coming up on August 17th and 18th in Birmingham, Alabama. We will feature EWTN favorites such as Marcus Grodi, Father Mitch Pacwa, and many more. Children can visit the Faith Factory and you will have a chance to meet your favorite hosts and friars in the family corner and meet the author, Arias. Most importantly, the priests will celebrate Mass both days, and you will have the opportunity to go to confession and to adore the Blessed Sacrament throughout the weekend. It is a very special way to grow closer to our Lord during this year of faith. The event is free. Please visit EWTN.com for more details. And now, here's Doug. Thanks, Barbara. Now here's a look at the items that Mother has presented on this program. Now the first of our holy reminders from Mother Angelica was the DVD of the Spiritual Exercises of St. Ignatius, very popular program priced at $40. Item number is HDSESI, and this is the Spiritual Exercises of St. Ignatius on DVD. We also have the book, The 33 Doctors of the Church, priced at $33. Item number is 1751, and it's the book, The 33 Doctors of the Church. Next is How to Make a Good Confession, number 2296. That's the item number, priced at $11 for that book, How to Make a Good Confession, and also Frequent Confession, Its Place in the Spiritual Life. Now, it's priced at $10, and it's item number 4162. Now moving on to the items that Barbara has presented. First, a book, Saints and Other Powerful Men in the Church by Bob and Penny Lord, priced at $16. Item number is 3093 for Saints and Other Powerful Men in the Church. And of course, we also have the edition Women in the Church as well by Bob and Penny, and it's 3085, and it's priced at $15 for that one. Next, we have Full of Grace, Women and the Abundant Life by Johnette Mankovic. Item number 9600, priced at $14 for that book, Full of Grace, Women and the Abundant Life. We also have the Full of Grace Study Guide as well. Item number 3351, priced at $30 for the Full of Grace Study Guide. Or we have Grace-Filled Moments, item number 899. That book is $20 for Grace-Filled Moments. Or we have Experience Grace in Abundance, priced at $13. Item number is 74307 for that book. Or we have Living Life Abundantly, item number 55231, and it's $11 for that book, Living Life Abundantly. We also have the paperback edition of the Spiritual Exercises of St. Ignatius, item number 1592, priced at $17 for the paperback. Or we have A Closer Walk with Christ. That book is $12, item number 9475, A Closer Walk with Christ. Next, we have the book The Glories of Mary, priced at $8. And its item number is 36022, it's The Glories of Mary. We also have Praying the Rosary with St. Alphonsus Logori, priced at $18, item number is 465C for that CD, audio CD. Or we have the book Preparation for Death, item number is 810, priced at $17. Preparation for Death is the title of that book. We also have Visits to the Blessed Sacrament, a book that Barbara showed us. It's only $6, item number is 1743, Visits to the Blessed Sacrament. Or we have How to Converse with God, priced at only $3, item number is 1962, 
How to Converse with God. Next, we have St. Dominic's Family. That book is $33. Item number is 500, number 500 for St. Dominic's Family. And we have the St. Dominic gift set as well that Barbara presented. 40614 is the item number, priced $11 for the St. Dominic gift set. Moving on, we have the book Edith Stein and Companions, priced at $18, item number 3364 for that work. Or there's Edith Stein, Life of a Philosopher and Carmelite, and that's priced at $16. Item number is 16367 for Edith Stein, Life of a Philosopher and Carmelite. And a very popular DVD is Ocean of Mercy, priced at $25. Item number 6226D, a classic Ocean of Mercy on DVD. And we have Maximilian, Saint of Auschwitz, is featured on EWTN, the DVD. It's 131D, priced at $20 for that. And there's also the book Forget Not Love, The Passion of Maximilian Kolbe. It's priced at $15, item number is 2755 for that work, Forget Not Love, The Passion of Maximilian Kolbe. And finishing things off is Kolbe, Saint of the Immaculata. Now this book is $12.50, item number is 16670. So, if you'd like to order any of the items featured on this program, just go to our website, www.ewtmreligiouscatalog.com, where you can see all the items featured on this particular program. In fact, all the items offered in total by EW Tim's Religious Catalog are only available all the time on our website, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. And of course, you can still give us a call if you'd prefer, 1-800-854-6316. And you can use your Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and or American Express, either on our secure internet site or when ordering over the phone. And now, back to Barbara. When Mother Angelica founded EWTN Religious Catalog, she hoped we would be the most widely known and trusted source for religious articles and other items to help our viewers deepen their knowledge and understanding of the Roman Catholic faith. You have many choices when deciding where to purchase Holy Reminders. Every purchase made directly supports the important work and mission of EWTN. We sincerely appreciate your choice to support us through your purchases from Religious Catalog. 